Hey, hey, far be it for me to come between a girl and her dream, or a man and his wife. No. Wife? No, 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 no. I know what it costs to rent a plane. Young Henry. And Katie doesn't have that, so this is your operation from the start. No, 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 no. Oh, contraire. Mon ami, your little Katie is quite the manager. She squirreled away a small fortune working at W.O.A.K. Tell him, Katie. Well, I told you I was good with money. You just never listened. Thirty grand. I kid you not. Look, being good with money doesn't mean she has to give it to the first leech that comes along. Look, scouts, she... our scouts on her. I did not touch a penny. She got the gear. She rented the plane. She can't fly a plane. All right, yes, the flying part was me, but that's only because she begged me to do oh, it. And you listened to her? What? You try stopping a Peretti in full battle mode. What am I saying? You can't. You're here, aren't you? He's right. It's all your fault. <laughs> what? My fault? It's yes, because you're you. And I love you, and I knew you wouldn't love me unless I found the diamond. So that involved getting the plane and convincing Henry, and, and so here we are. But it's all, all okay because you kissed me back. And the best part is, I found the diamond. So all is well that ends well, right? You want me to go to the boathouse with you? Craig, we already know that you were there. Just go to the boathouse with me, walk me through it, show me what happened, show me why you're not guilty. Oh, Craig, somebody tried to kill your wife. Now, if it wasn't you, whoever it was is still at large. All right. On one condition. No guarantees. I'm doing this for my sister, detective. Because obviously she still cares about me. Obviously, Craig, she still does. Okay, if I, uh, I have a ton of uh, luggage showing up at the lake you have to sign for, so I'll meet you there in about an hour. You will be there. You know, my attorney will be there, too. That's yeah. fine, whatever you need. No, this is for you, Marco, not for me. Because when she realizes what you've done, I ain't working with you, Emily. I ain't working, period. Remember? Fine. Then give me my list back. What do you say, Parker? Should we help the pretty lady out? You know, don't even go there. Don't even try. Because I know you. The only thing you want from me is my front page. Okay, maybe my database. Well, it certainly ain't your charming company. A charming co I could compliment you. I could. Your, your daddy, your dad, he doesn't want it. He would rather a fry in the eye than a compliment any day. Well, I'm not going to wait for a compliment from you since you're constitutionally incapable of complimenting anybody. Anyway. Oh, I could. I could compliment you if I thought long and hard, but weren't we talking about me and how I earned all my enemies? You have. You have no ethics, your goals are shallow, you run over anybody to get a headline. People get mad, they get hurt, and hurt plus mad equals enemies. Simple mathematics. That's fair. Not very nice, but fair. Mm, but you're also honest and you're direct and you say what's on your mind. Some people like that. Me. Do you know who you remind me of? Who? Lucinda Walsh. Okay, buddy, that's low. I like Lucinda. Yeah, I don't. I'm sure she feels the same way about you. Come on, Parker, give the pretty lady a fry. Oh, you Cheer know what? Up. Are you going to be just like your father when you grow up? Are you going to tease every woman you know? I would have thought the editor of The Intruder would have had a thicker skin. Oh, she does. She does. Take a look, okay? Take a look at the skin. Armadillos don't come better or protected. Come on, have a feel. What is the pretty armadillo protecting? Her soft, feminine heart? Nah. <laughs> I want you to know it's going to be fine, because I'm going to take care of it. Well, it is fine. We have an apartment. Mm. We have a truly fine coffee pot. <laughs> this is your apartment. No, it isn't. It's Molly's apartment. And we are welcome to stay here until we decide to go someplace else. 
And we don't have to worry about a wedding until your divorce comes through. So I can't even think about that now. You're going to have everything you deserve. I know. And there's no hurry. Not this one. Cass Winthrop. Cass, of all people, should understand. Yeah. I have to pay him. I know. You can work it out with him. Mm. Pay him a little at a time. Maybe. Who knows? I should go. Promise me you won't worry, Jack. <laughs> Jack. I'll call you. It's going to be okay. Lock the doors for me. Okay. Because you and I both know that Craig's probably in the bushes waiting for me. No, I don't think so. I think he's learned his lesson. No, I don't think so. Jack will forgive me. He has to. 